हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कॉपी ऑन राइट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक यू विल बी लर्निंग हाउ द डिफरेंट पेजेस दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन द मेमोरी आर शेयर बाई टू प्रोसेस सो बट विच प्रोसेस कैन शेयर द पेजेस नॉर्मली इफ यू सी हियर द फोक सिस्टम कॉल विच विल क्रिएट ए चाइल्ड प्रोसेस एज ए डुप्लीकेट ऑफ द पेरेंट so whenever a parent process create a child process here what i'm mentioning is this process p1 let us assume is a parent process well, then using the folk system call it has created a child process the child process is what it is a duplicate of the parent process it will share the same pages as that of the parent press, uh, parent so this process p2 which is a child process you can see here just for the sake of simplicity we have shown three pages in the memory but you can see that these three pages are accessed by process 1 also and process 2 also as long as the parent process and the child process are only reading the pages are only what trying to read the contents of the pages then there is no issue but if at all a pay, one of this process either the parent or the child try to write something into the page that means it wants to modify the page that time only a copy of that page will be created that's the name copy on write write and but a copy is created after that so now this was like before modification after let us assume that process 1 wants to modify this b page b then in the main memory a copy of b will be created here so i can write here copy of b now in future for that page this process 1 should always what access the copy only not this page this page is what now accessible by the uh, child process but the copy of b because process 1 has modified the contents of the page and then that's the reason a copy is created here in the main memory suppose let us assume the child process wants to what modify the page c content then a copy of c will be created here then after that after the copy is created the child process will always what refer to this copy only but this original page is what referred by this parent so this way is the mechanism here used copy on write that's why we say the title as copy on write copy on write if anything has to be written on into the page then the copy of the page has to be made here normally what no for folk system call will create a duplicate of Uh, sorry folk system call will create a child process which is a duplicate of the parent process and the child will uh, always have the same address space as that of the parent but later what will happen if the child process start using the exec execute call then completely it will get a separate address space instead of that rather than moving to the separate address space we can use this mechanism copy on write this is how we can say that a copy of each of these pages are created whenever a modification on a page will be done by any of the process whether it is the parent process or the child process so this is just a very simple concept under the heading copy on write if you find this session useful please like share and subscribe to my channel in this session i shall discuss on shared libraries so this topic also comes under design issues in paging systems so shared libraries can be best understood with static and dynamic linking so in order to explain static and dynamic linking i'll start with one very simple concept which all of you have done right from uh, the first semester wherein you were carrying out the programming in c or any other programming what exactly you are trying to do is you will type a program okay program 1.c so this is in which language it is a high level language now high level language is not at all understood by the computer it has to get converted into what the low level language so this high level language gets converted into the object code then what will happen so what i'll do is you are typing the program program 1.c fine that becomes what the input to the compiler because you will compile that program and then it will result in what the object file object file of this that means it will be now with the extension program 1.obg the extension becomes now at this stage okay at this point the linker one more program one more software comes into picture and that is called as the linker now what is the job of the linker it will link the libraries so what library functions are needed that will be linked by the linker to the object code all library functions that are required for this program will be linked by the linker then comes 
whatever uh, the linker program okay after that whatever program it becomes an executable file program dot ex e executable file finally one more module called as loader will come into picture here which will load that program into the main memory for execution this is the flow that you all are aware of it now the topic is shared libraries how shared libraries is getting related with this diagram i'll tell you first compiler up till here no problem because once i say the word here libraries i'm writing here the library functions so this library functions are getting linked to the program in two ways either in the static way or in the dynamic way now what difference is there in between these two ways so i'll explain it in this manner you have a program called main uh, you have a program wherein in the main then you have some statement somewhere you are writing the printf okay like this you are using now this printf see normally what on the high level language gets converted into the object file when this object file is generated this program is having some what some symbols like printf scanf you are including or you are calling some library functions here which are not defined in the program which are not defined in the user program the user has made only the use of such statements printf but where is the definition for those statements present it is present in the library functions so this is what the linker will do whatever is the object called suppose at this point let us take the object file whatever is generated i'll just write it in terms of uh, zeros and ones if this is the code just for the sake of simplicity one program has generated this object file now for that program what is needed the library functions are needed only then the program will get executed so the linker will uh, include the uh, library functions that are required here okay now this library functions are combined and then loaded into the main memory for execution this is called as static way of linking what is dynamic way of linking dynamic way of linking is at this point the linker is not going to include during what during this uh, compile time rather than it will get included during the execution time now execution time why see what has happened is in the previous case in the static linking the object code for the program and the object code for the library both gets get gets combined and it is loaded into the memory so suppose if it gets loaded here in the main memory this is by one user another user is also typing one program another pro program gets generated another another program is having the printf statement once again the object code for that printf statement or whatever statements are used will get combined with the object code of the program and it gets loaded into the main memory each time though see printf is common for so many programs but every time the code for the printf gets has to get combined with the object code of the program and then loaded into the memory so many times it is included in the memory the memory which is limited in size one more problem may happen see one time it has loaded into the main memory and one time it has combined this object code into the main, with the object code of the program now if there is an error in the program what the user will do the user will uh, compile it again it will generate the object code once again the linker has to add the object code for all the symbols that are used in the program so this is what is static dynamic uh, linking in dynamic linking the library functions whatever are needed for a program are what are already present only once in the memory okay and once the object code is generated for the program only the reference is made for that particular library function so that reference whatever is made we call it with the word stub here stub is used which will point what which will point to the address in the memory where the library functions are included if another user is making use of that library function no need to once again combine it is what it is once again addressed to that particular memory only one time it is present so that's why you are what making use of the memory also very efficiently suppose if that uh, library function is not there in the main memory this stub function this stub will what will bring that particular module will, library module from the hard disk and it will place it in the main memory so it has got two functions here it will point to the memory address where that uh, library function is present if not present its job is also to bring that particular memory uh, library from the hard disk to the main memory so this is how this dynamic linking is happens since it can be used by all programs whatever is the library functions are present here in this module 
in this library it can be used by any other program that's why we call it as shared libraries so this is the idea behind the shared libraries you can also learn under the heading static linking versus dynamic linking hope it is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care